Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. In the past few decades, communication giants represented by American companies such as Apple and Qualcomm have been able to earn nearly a trillion yuan from China every year just by collecting patent licensing fees, starting from the 2G era. It can be said that the pot is full, and it was not until the 5G era that the global communication industry ushered in a big reshuffle. Chinese technology companies represented by Huawei and DJI began to shoulder the banner of development. With strong development momentum, China has achieved the world's leading position in the 5G field in just four years. According to public information from the Ministry of Industry and Information Technology, as of the end of March this year, China has built a total of 1.1 billion internet broadband ports, including 17.93 million ports with gigabit network service capabilities. There are over 2.64 million 5G base stations, accounting for approximately 60% of the global total greatly improving China's computing power and network operation speed. The number of 5G base stations built in the United States is about 100,000, accounting for 6.5% of the global total and ranking third globally. The gap between China and the United States is widening, but this time, China has far surpassed them. She realized that there was no hope of catching up in the 5G field, and the United States launched a lane change overtaking plan to accelerate the 6G layout, make up for 5G shortcomings, and strive to excel in the 6G era. The idea is good, but it is really difficult to say whether it can be successfully realized as expected. Recently, a piece of good news came that China has made new progress in 6G. According to the official announcement of Nanjing Zijinshan Research Institute, achieving the world's fastest for the first time. The real-time transmission speed of 6G terahertz exceeds 100 gigabits per second, an increase of 10 to 20 times compared to 5G. In terms of patent quantity, China has also won over 7,000 patents, ranking first in the world with a proportion of 40.3%. It is expected to achieve commercial landing by 2030. Faced with China's established advantages, the United States took the lead in forming the Next G Alliance organization with multiple countries in Japan, South Korea, and Europe, deliberately excluding Huawei and SMIC, and including overseas communication companies such as Qualcomm and Samsung. It is not difficult to see that Western capital wants to learn from the previous monopoly of technology, and intends to unite with other countries to jointly block the development of China's high-tech industry. In fact, for China, Developing 6G technology has already become an inevitable choice at present, especially with the increase in international trade frictions and frequent bottleneck of overseas technology in recent years. Only by fully mastering independently developed 6G technology can China gain more international discourse power. Previously, in the field of drones, Xinjiang was originally unmanned, but was splashed with dirty water by the United States, and preferential policies were first used to support local drone enterprises to occupy the market. Later, he accused Dajiang of plagiarizing technology and demanded a fine of 2 billion yuan. This type of small action also occurs in the field of biotechnology and the right life technology that once fascinated American and European vanity fairs. 
Harvard Medical School found in animal experiments that its core components can slow down the degradation process of mammals by screening aging cells. With its first mover advantage, the American and Japanese biotech giants quickly achieved a monopoly on the aforementioned technologies and even boasted shamelessly, if you want to, obediently take the money to buy. In order to make up for the shortcomings, a Chinese biotechnology enterprise has developed a new process that improves purity while reducing the cost of right life by 95%, allowing imported formulations to no longer clamor at high prices. Some foreign media outlets are calling for China not to be underestimated. However, it should be noted that 6G is not just a communication technology. It involves various details and multiple disciplines. For example, in order to accelerate frequency and transmission speed, research experts in fields such as informatics and physics need to work together. In addition, to apply satellite communication technology well, it is necessary to deeply explore professionals in industries such as land, surveying and navigation. Moreover, 6G research will also promote the development of advanced technologies such as virtual reality and artificial intelligence, and its importance is self-evident. Although China has made some progress in the 6G field, it still faces multiple challenges, including long research and development cycles high difficulty, and lack of international cooperation. To enter commercial applications, it also faces legal and demand challenges. Fortunately, driven by policy support and a vast market, China's 6G investment research still has great prospects. The aforementioned right life has a similar development path. When domestic products break through the technological constraints, it coincides with the awakening of domestic public health awareness. In just a few months, it has received nearly 10,000 positive feedback on JD and TMOR. With the increasingly close international logistics connections nowadays, Right Life has started to reverse its sales overseas and even Harvard Medical School has started to purchase raw materials produced in China. This is like 6G technology. In the Western containment environment, China not only cannot choose compromise and concessions, but also must accelerate the pace of innovation and pay more attention to protecting its own intellectual property rights to avoid being maliciously copied and preempted by other countries one day. In the process of head-on development, investment and setbacks are inevitable, but China is already sailing against the current, either advancing or retreating. At the beginning of the development of 6G, the United States has already formed an alliance with countries such as Europe, Japan and South Korea. Once its 6G technology achieves a major breakthrough, China's achievements in 6G are likely to disappear. Therefore, in order to prevent the United States and Europe from surpassing China, we hope that Chinese high-tech enterprises can continue to make efforts from multiple dimensions such as speed, power consumption, and bandwidth and try to prevent American enterprises from retaliating as much as possible. This will also provide more solid support and guarantee for China to achieve its goal of becoming a technological powerhouse.